In this video, I want to show you how to configure your Windows 10 PC to be a shared PC using Windows Configuration Designer, a free app from Microsoft. A shared PC is a PC where a guest account is created on the fly with a random name and non-admin access. This account, along with its data, can be deleted automatically after logging out or after a certain amount of time when the guest logs off. This can be configured. Unlike a kiosk account, a shared PC provides guests with a complete Windows 10 experience while, at the same time, protecting the PC and keeping it clean. It is especially useful for visitors who need temporary access to devices. If you want to see how to completely lock down a Windows 10 PC with kiosk mode, you can watch the video in the description. So let's get started. Step 1. Install a free application from Microsoft Store called Windows Configuration Designer. On Windows 10 PC, go to the search box and type Store to open the Microsoft Store and click Microsoft Store. In Microsoft Store, click on Search and key in Windows Configuration Designer and hit Enter. Click Windows Configuration Designer and next to it here, if you don't own this application, the install here will be Get, so click on Get, it will be installed. Here I already installed it before, so I'm going to click Install and it will be installed. This is a free application. After the application is installed, you can launch it by clicking in the search box and typing Windows Configuration Designer. Select it in the search results and click on it. It will open. This is a screen of Windows Configuration Designer. This is a startup screen. You have to click on Advanced Provisioning. And then here you need to select a name or type a name to your project. Because we're doing a project for shared PC, I'm going to name it simply shared-pc. And I'm going to keep the project folder, the default one, which is under Documents. Click on Next. Here you have to choose all Windows Desktop Editions. Click it. And click on Next. This is an optional step. We're going to skip it. Just click on Finish. And this is the project. Now you have to expand runtime settings. So click on the arrow next to it. Scroll down to shared PC and select it. After clicking shared PC on the left, you will have in the middle of your screen the configuration for shared PC. The first configuration is enable shared PC mode. Click on not configured and choose true. For account model, click on not configured and choose only guest because we are configuring this for only the guests. Of course, this depends also on what you need, but this is for the purpose of this video and the demonstration on this video. I'm going to choose this only. For deletion policy, I'm going to choose delete immediately. This way, when the guest logs out of his account, all his information will be deleted and the account will also be deleted. This way the PC will be kept clean. For the setting Enable Account Manager, I'm going to select True and this is a very important setting. This setting will allow Windows to manage the account automatically, otherwise the shared PC will not work. For the other settings, I'm going to keep everything by default. And at this stage, you have to save the project. So click on File, click on Save, click OK. And here we need to export the project as a provisioning package so that we can apply it to the target PC. So click Export and then click Provisioning Package. You can change the name if you want. I'm going to keep the name as it is. Click on Next. Here also keep everything by default and click on Next. 
this is a provisioning package output directory i'm gonna keep the default one which is the same as the project one so click on next and here you need to click build to start exporting the project so i'm gonna click on build it takes seconds and you see we have our project is here and our provisioning package is here and the provisioning package name is shared pc.ppkg so this is important in case you want to copy it i'm going to show you how to copy it if you want to apply it to another pc now you have to click on finish here and at this stage we can simply close the windows configuration designer window now after creating the provisioning package we need to apply it to the pc to apply the provisioning package to another computer, you need to copy the files sharedpc.pppkg and sharedpc.cat to an external media. So let me show you where the files were saved. We chose to save the file under documents and this is the folder and this is shared PC. So you need to copy this file and this file to an external media in case you want to apply them to another PC and take this media of course and do the steps that I'm gonna show you now on how to apply the package. For this video I will apply the provisioning package to the same PC I'm working on. So to apply it simply we need to double click the shared PC ppkg file. If you can see the extension of the file click on view and exporter and choose file name extension so that you'll make sure that you are double clicking the correct file. So we need to double click sharedpc.pppkg. It will ask you the user account control. Are you sure? Click on yes. And once again, you'll be asked if this package is from a trusted source. So click on yes, edit. And now the package is added. At this stage, we need to restart the PC to apply the settings. Before restarting your PC, if you don't remember your login name, you need to note it because the shared PC configuration will only show at login the guest account and the other accounts, you need to put them manually. So to note your login information in case you don't know it, click in the search box, type CMD and type who am I? And here you note your username. In this case, it is KST. And this is the computer name. So let me restart the PC now to show you how the shared PC configuration is applied. When we restarted the PC, as you see, the shared PC configuration is applied. You can see this by noticing the guest account here and also by noticing that all the login names were removed. It doesn't mean that they were deleted because you can still put them manually here and log in, of course, to your admin account or to other accounts. For now, because I'm showing you the guest account, so I'm going to click on guest and show you how it will be. There is no password, just click on sign in. It will create a temporary environment. When you log in as guest, it will create on the fly a random account and it will create also its environment with it. So this account and this environment will be deleted upon logout because we configured it this way. Let me show you what is the account name here. So in the search box, click on it and type CMD. Hit enter. And let's see what is the username here. Set username and you see this is a completely random guest account that was created so this is a guest account if we launch edge it will be like we launched it the first time of course so you see here that it is launching edge as if you log in the first time to the pc which is true because this is a guest account and now I'm going to show you how to remove the package, the shared PC package, if you don't need it anymore so that the PC goes back to its normal configuration. So we need to log out of the 
guest account. Let me sign out. And I need to log in with my admin credentials. So here I need to put them manually because they were removed because of the shared PC configuration. And this is my password. And let's log in now and remove the provisioning package. After you log in with your admin account, to remove the provisioning package, click on the Windows icon, click Settings, click Accounts, click Access Work or School. On the right, click Add or Remove a Provisioning Package. And here you see this is a shared PC provisioning package we installed. So click on it, click Remove, choose Yes. And now it is removed. So when you restart your PC, everything will go back to normal. And you can log in with your user, which will appear, and you don't have to key it in. That was it. If you think this video might help others, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching.